for Pearson and Excel International A levels and uh, for May 2025 and the paper code is WMA1101 and this is going to be a 75 marks paper and you will be allotted 1 hour and 30 minutes for it so there would be total 10 questions so here is our question 1 question 1 says that okay question 1 says that P and Q are given as a rational function or algebraic function express each of the following in the form k x to the power of n where k and n are fully simplified constant k and n are fully simplified constant and when we want to write each of these you know given parts as k x to the power of n okay so yes now we're gonna do the part a part a says that okay so part A is, let me make it a bit bold, yeah, that's your part A, that is P to the power of a half. This is what we have to find, that's for just one mark, since we already know P is 1 over 16 and x to the power of 4, times x to the power of 4. So we're going to take the half on both sides here. We apply half on both sides in order to get P half. So P half would be, uh, it's this half is basically, you know, whenever the half comes in the power, that is the root, okay? So the root of 1 over 16 next to the power of 4, uh, 1 over 16 root will be 1 over 4, obviously, okay? And x to the power, uh, since 4 times a half, when we multiply the powers, the base is same, powers are separated by the bracket, you times the powers together, okay? 4 times a half will be 2. So x power 2 is the simplified answer for p to the half okay and k we already written it in the form k x to the power of n okay if we compare it that is what they ask you right in the form k x to the power of n and k and n are fully simplified constant so in that case uh, your k here would be 1 by 4 and n would be 2 okay so here is your answer to the part a just for one mark let's do the part b so the B part is, you have to find P times Q to the whole inverse. P, Q to the whole inverse. Okay, so we'll take the inverse, but first we'll find P, Q. So we know the P value is 1 by 16, next to the power of 4. And times it by Q. Q, let's see what Q is, 40 over X cube, okay? So that's going to be 40 over X cube. The two fractions getting multiplied together, we do cross multiplication. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 5 is 40, okay? 5 times 1 is 5 and 2 times, like this is 1 here is 2. So we just get the simplified number as 5 over 2. And in case of x is, you see x4 is on the top in the numerator, x3 is in the bottom in the denominator. Same basis getting divided, you will subtract the powers. So you will move x to the power of 4 minus 3, which will get you 5 over 2 x to the power of 1 simple one 4 minus 3 would be 1 okay and that's your pq so this is your pq you have to find the inverse of pq inverse being the negative one power of pq and i'm gonna do the same thing i got the pq i'll apply the negative one power on both sides since it's an equation whatever operation i do on one side of equation that must be done on the other side as well okay to balance the equation so here's your pq inverse is gonna be Whenever the power is negative, you can flip over the fraction. You can flip over the fraction to make the power positive. So it's 5x on the top, 2 in the bottom. Now that becomes 2 over 5x, okay? To make the whole power 1. So that negative 1 is gone because you flipped it over and you no, do, no more need to write 1 power here, okay? Because that's just the power 1. But since they said write it in the form kx to the power of n, so we have to move x on the top. So your pq inverse is going to be 2 by 5 and when you move x on the top that becomes the negative power. There was one power in the bottom, when you move it on the top the power become negative. So this is your simplified pq to the power of negative 1 inverse required now the part c in part c you have to find p q squared that's 2 for 2 marks 
p q square okay so we have two times p with the square of q okay we know p is 1 over 16 x to the power 4 that's from the question you know that already and you times it by the square of q so what was q let's check i forgot and the q was 40 over x cube here so i'll just replace q with 40 over x cube now i simplify this so 1 over 16 x to the power of 4 times the square of 40 will be it's gonna be 4 times 4 16 and 0 0 okay and x to the power of 3 to the whole power of 2 that becomes x to the power of 6 whenever it's a you know division or multiplication of terms with the whole power over it we just apply the power with every multiply the powers okay together that becomes x6 okay simplifying 16 and 1600 you get 16 times 116 and 16 times 100 would be 1600 do the same thing no numbers are here just 100 times 1 would be 100 x power 4 in the numerator x6 in the denominator moving 6 on the top would make it x power 4 negative 6 the bottom one moved on the top same basis we subtract the powers so that becomes 100 x to the power of negative 2 so that is your p q square required okay that's your p q squared required for two marks so here it is the given answers that's the question one i'll just zoom it out so you can see how long it is gonna take so here it is a 